I went to a wedding not long back. It was that emotional. Even the cake was in tears. <laughs> <laughs> right then, so hello again, everybody, and welcome back. A question I get asked a lot is when using a VPN for streaming, how do you know the VPN is connected and working because you can't see it and it just runs in the background? So I'm going to show you two different things that you can do just to make sure that the VPN you're using is working and just to put your mind at ease. Right, so that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's crack on. Right, so I know this video isn't going to appeal to a lot of people, but like I said, it's a question I've been asked quite a lot, so that's the reason I'm covering a video on it. Right, so let's do this video as fast as possible because I don't want to waste your time, and to be honest with you, I can't be bothered today either. <laughs> right, so I'm on the 4K Fire Stick, but this is going to work the same on any Android streaming device. The first way that we can try is very basic and very obvious, but it's also a way a lot of people don't know to try. And it's as simple as using Tubi TV. Now in the UK or in Europe, Tubi TV isn't available. As you can see there, it's currently available in Europe due to changes in EU laws. So what we can do is open up the VPN app, so whichever VPN you are using. If I click on country, I'm going to go all the way down, and then I'm going to select United States and then connect. Once it's connected, I'm going to click on home, but one thing you are going to see, if I open up Tubi TV again, it's still going to give me this error message because it's already loaded up the app. So if I click on Home and I go to Settings, Applications, Manage Installed Applications, then scroll all the way down the list until you find Tubi TV. Click on Force Stop and then launch the application again. This is going to do a fresh launch and now it's going to recognise that my device or my IP is in the US so it should so it should start to work. Don't know what happened then. Bit of a stutter. <laughs> but as you can see, it's loaded up. Ding dangly do. That one's done. That's one effective way to test that your VPN is working in the background. Now, if you don't already have Tubi TV or you don't know where to get it, I will show you where you can install it in a second. But the next way that we're going to use is by using a VPN safety dot app. Now I saw this from a video that I trusted recently. And to be honest with you, I think a lot of you may like it. So if you jump back over to the device, and then I'm going to open up Downloader. Now, if you're using a device that doesn't use Downloader or you use a different web browser to download on that device, then just open up whichever web browser it is that you use. But we're going to be using Downloader. Open it up, and then we're going to click on the bar to type in a URL. And the website you want to visit is letscrackon.org. So once you've typed that in exact as you see it there, let's crack on .org. We're going to click on go. Give it a moment just to load up the website. It may be available in some file linked stores as well. We're going to click on the menu button, three line button, hamburger menu, whatever it is you want to call it. That's what we're going to click on. Once it opens up, we're going to click on downloads. If you do get a pop up ad, just click on the cross in the top right. I want to scroll down the list a little bit and then you're going to see useful tools and essentials. Scroll down to V, and you're going to see VPN Safety Dot. Once we click on this, it'll start connecting and download the app to the Fire Stick. I will be giving the website a little makeover at the beginning of next year as well, because I don't know what I've done to it, but it looks absolutely shocking. <laughs> so once the APK is downloaded, follow the install prompt. So go down to Install. Give it a couple of moments just to install, then click on Done. Very important is make sure you delete and delete again. It's only the APK file, which is the installation file. And now we've installed the app, it's no longer needed. And then for anybody wondering where to download such as Tubi TV, it's on this downloads page. You're going to see there Tubi TV on live TV and movie apps. So if you go back home and we go to settings, I always go into my applications by doing it this way and then down to Manage Installed Applications, you're going to see you've got the VPN Safety Dot app. And if we launch this, when it opens up, it's going to say Starting, Waiting for the Internet Connection. And it's going to say Ensure Anonymity. I can't say that. You can read, read it. I'm not saying it. <laughs> anonymity. An anonymity. It, anyway, and it does say the VPN Safety Dot app regularly monitors and validates your internet privacy and displays a status 
For anybody wondering, I have scanned the file in VirusTotal. There's no detections found, so the app is clean and safe to use. If we click on Start, and you're going to see you've got the On Off button. So if it is turned on, in the top right hand corner you can see a green dot and it will flash on and off. And it's green at the moment because we're still connected to a US server that we just connected to so we could access Tubi TV. So let me quickly disconnect from that. And if you are a streamer and you don't use a VPN or you're looking to get a good offer on a VPN, I will leave links in the description down below. They are affiliated links, but they are discounted links as well. So as well as supporting the channel, you get to save money. And if you do use my links, I just want to say you're an absolute legend and thank you. So now I've disconnected from the VPN, you can see there's a red dot flashing in the top right hand corner, meaning there's no VPN connected. There's a couple of things we can do to customise this app as well. If we go down to settings, you're going to see you've got the option to start the VPN safety app on device boot, meaning whenever you start your device, the VPN safety app will be working straight away. You've got the flashing timer, so how long you want it to stay on and flash on and off. And then you've got the transparency indicator. So if you want it, if it's a bit intrusive and a bit bright, we can turn that right down. And now you can see it's really, really faded. So it's not going to bother you as much if you want to leave this app running in the background. But we're going to turn it right back up. And then at the bottom, you've got the option for a dot or a thumb. So if it's not connected, it'll be a thumbs down. If you are connected, it'll be a thumbs up. So now if you go back home on his fire stick, you're going to see in the top corner the dot is still there. So now we're going to connect to a VPN. So on country, this time I'm going to connect to the United Kingdom. Click on connect and then we should see that red dot that's flashing in the top right. Flashing? <laughs> and it should now turn into a green dot, meaning the VPN's doing its job. Ding dangly do, we're connected. Click back home, we're going to see that green dot is still there. And now you've got the option, you can leave it running in the top corner just to make sure it's still running and it doesn't disconnect. Or we can just go back into the app and turn it off. Oh, sorry, I'm still on settings. Turn it off and then that gets rid of the dot, but you know and it gives you the peace of mind that the VPN is working in the background. Right, whoa. So like I said, I know this video is not going to appeal to a lot of people, but hopefully if you've been wondering if the VPN you're using is working... This video will help you be able to check. Right, I'm going to go now because my dinner's nearly ready and I like my snap. Right, so that being said, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And I'll see you soon. Sarah. So in this video, I'm going to show you a couple of things that... Piece of dust. <laughs> right, so I know this vid video... <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> Give it a puck. Oh, that. <laughs> corner, you can see there's a red flashing dot. Which, which, <laughs> you're going to see that you've got the option to. And if a question get asked, get asked enough, get asked. Right, so I know this. <laughs> right, so I'm in the bottom here. Hello. <laughs> what was that? Android streaming device. The first. The first. <laughs> and I'm going to type in this website exact as it follows. Make sure you follow this along. Don't know what I've just said. <laughs>